In this program spotlight, we look at the relationship between trauma and substance abuse. Offender and substance abuse treatment programs are increasingly confronting the underlying issue of trauma and its relationship to drug and alcohol abuse as well as various categories of criminal behavior. When a person experiences traumatic events, there is the very real possibility of long-lasting effects impacting nearly every aspect of life. In general, Modern treatment recommendations are to first assess individuals for trauma and then adjust treatment plans accordingly. Individuals process trauma in different ways. An event that has a profound effect on one person may not have any significant effect at all on another person. And different people have different ways of coping with traumatic experiences of course, one of the most common and dangerous ways that people deal with past trauma is to self-medicate through the use and misuse of alcohol and other substances. This is problematic in that it creates a cycle of abuse that often worsens as the self-medicating person initially experiences temporary relief. As the effect of the drugs wears off, the feelings associated with the trauma return leading to increased efforts to self-medicate. All treatment professionals have seen this cycle. Some examples of the feelings and emotions linked to traumatic events that can lead to substance abuse include physical and emotional pain, guilt, shame, anxiety, depression, and fear. While the use of drugs and alcohol can seemingly lead to a temporary relief of such symptoms, self-medication paradoxically increases the potential of creating even more traumatic events. Involvement with the criminal justice system, issues in employment and school, and relationship problems can all emerge in untreated trauma. For many individuals, professional help is the only way out of this cycle. After screening and assessing clients for trauma and identifying its presence, professionals have three major options. First, you can treat the trauma and then approach the substance abuse issues later. Second, you can treat the substance abuse issues first and then address trauma. Finally, you can use what is referred to as an integrative approach by treating the two issues simultaneously. It is up to the professional's judgment and programmatic philosophy to determine which course of action to take. The first step is, of course, to first perform a thorough assessment. Because each individual's case is likely to be unique, we do not recommend one approach over another. Our cognitive behavioral trauma treatment materials include approaches for offenders and substance abusers in the general population and also a specialized program for veterans. They are all standalone workbooks that can be used in conjunction with other treatments either before, after, or during substance abuse treatment.